and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nadia, the owner and maker of Nolan Spirit. I'm here today to share with you this incredible Pilsner design. This is perfect for any male gift that you want to design. Um, I'm going to go through it step by step. Right now I have here my 20 ounces Pilsner double wall stainless steel tumbler. It comes with this really lip proof, strong incredible lips which obviously i know some males will definitely remove it and don't use it but i would say if you want your drink to stay cool for longer keep it on don't take it off while your drink is resting or something else. so that's enough chit chat for me and let's go and Okay, so this is the second time I have to film this. I've done a really cute video yesterday with my daughter that I wish I could share with you, but we messed up. I decided to add one more color. It didn't work and I have to literally remove the entire tumbler, clean it all over back to the stainless steel and then repaint it again and then be back to you again. So I'm gonna go through that. I don't know, maybe at the end of the video just because it was so cute, even it was messed up, but it was so cute to see her helping me in the oil and things like that anyway what i saw yesterday um i didn't have the time to keep going yesterday yes two seconds so basically i took different type of um of the acrylic oils that i have i bought this one so long ago in amazon i can leave the link of this one down below if they're still selling it i have no idea if they do but i took the range of yellows and um oranges that they have and then here I have, first of all, I have a spray of alcohol. Um, it's not like you're going to need it, but just in case. And then we're going to need some tape. I know the um, American tumbler makers, they actually use this um, like blue tape. We don't have that blue tape here and it's quite expensive. This is the tape that I actually use for when I do sublimation, so it's fine. It's just to actually just like separate what we want of the white and the um, color one. And then here I have... Um, lemon yellow yes i'm gonna help you um lemon yellow yellow and orange yellow my son is awake my daughter is sleeping so i don't know how this is gonna end. so yes um again so um this is um yellow 
and this is lemon yellow. So yesterday what I've done, which I like it, was to start with this one as a base, and then we went through with this, yes, and then we went with this one, okay? Give it two seconds, Jose. And then we went with this one, which as I said before, is orange yellow, and it was perfectly fine. So I'm gonna stick with them. And yesterday the mistake is that I decided to put brown on it. What I was doing putting brown, I don't know, I just thought it's gonna be a good thing, but no, it wasn't. It's just end up being like clots of dark. It looked like um Dalmatian spots. So it was a mess. Anyway, I'm not gonna take more time of you here. Let's go. mix um 30 milliliters here they are of the facet artisan obviously we are working on like a fast speed uh process right now because i want to move to the next step as soon as possible i already sealed my tumblers and haze on the clear semi-gloss finished this is what i use only one time through the entire tumbler to make sure i seal the acrylic anyway this has been resting um since i've done it for like a good two days so it should be more than enough and as well i have it overnight on the turner warming up so um they are ready to go like they are not cold they are warm they are fine i need to make sure this one stays straight because it wasn't straight okay so why i'm saying this i already experienced before do the um alcohol ink and then come about and all the alcohol ink starts running it's really important to let the alcohol ink absolutely dry and it's really important to seal and let it dry and all of those sort of things anyway i'm not gonna take any more time for this because i want to do a short video so Okay, so here I am. I have a bowl of, I prepared whole water, but I was doing a lot of things, so it's already at room temperature. I have sanded a little bit the area where I'm gonna put it. I know I have few fish eyes around the tumbler, but that doesn't bother me right now, because at the end of the day, the area where I wanna put it is absolutely smooth. There you go. And then this is the one of the designs that I'm gonna put. And the reason why I make it small, if you look at it, you will say like, Oh, it's too small. It's not that small. Thinking that all of this, it's going to be 3D foam. So otherwise, it's going to look, it's going to cover it. So that's more than enough. And in the other side, I need to put the name, but that's going to be in another moment. Now we're going to start with... Okay, so here we are on the what it could be the next step or the last step depends if you want to keep moving forward with it or you just want to keep it like this this is what we have so far so you can see it's look amazing i love it 
and I'm so happy how this color turned to be. I put the customer's um, name, the husband actually, uh, name. Okay, you could just keep it like this. I would like to challenge myself and do actually the 3D foam and actually let it kind of like run a little bit around. Um, just because I think for my opinion, okay, my humble and honest opinion, I think this tumbler is huge. And if I was to put this one higher, it would have been too high and leave it all of this white. It's like a really big gap. I know a lot of people will put bigger decals. So actually covers like this bit. But when I designed this and I saw it on the screen, I didn't really like how it looks. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to take my sanding block. First of all, I'm going to go through the top. We're going to sand this twice. We're going to sand this right now. And we're going to sand this when um, we finish putting the foam. If you're not doing the foam, if this is your last step, you do the sanding now. Once you're absolutely and completely happy, we always get some little bumpings uh, before the last layer. You will sand it all. All. Like, I can feel some bumpings and then I'm going to go through it because I'm going to do the foam, but... After I do the foam, I'm going to actually put another layer of epoxy on top of that. So if I don't sand this area now, once I put the foam and it's all dripping and everything, and I try to sand in between, I may damage the foam, if that makes any sense. So right now, you do that, you go through your top if you need it, because you have a lot of epoxy over here. You go with your exacto knife and then you start standing everything up really carefully. We don't want to damage the paint. I know you can say, oh, but you're going to put the foam. Yeah, yeah, but we need the color of the background as well, okay? And then what are we going to do is we are going to mix. This is the thing. Each person will do different style. You can do the foam with epoxy and cornstarch. You can do it with epoxy and acrylic paint. You can do it with mica powders. You can do it with um, alcohol ink. Fine. There's a lot of, especially in America, products that actually will help you to thicken up the epoxy faster. By my experience, when I've done it for my Christmas mugs, um, the chocolate mugs, I have to say what I've done is once I prepare the epoxy, I actually stay in front of the epoxy for a lot of time. I was watching a movie in the meantime, just to let you know, waiting for it to thicken up. Why? Because the epoxy, sometimes this is happening and you will be like, what? Never happened to you that one day you are working, you just mix the epoxy, the room is extra heat. And then the epoxy just thicken up like this before you even get to finish all of the um, tumblers you have to do. Yes, it's happened to all of us and you say, what? Come this moment when you want to do this and your epoxy won't work the same way because the room is not in the same temperature, because the way how you mix the epoxy is in a different way, because of so many factors. So epoxy is something so delicate, so delicate that if you don't treat it with love, it will just be like, mean a mean pain so what i do is i mix it i put the acrylic the cornstarch the whatever is however you want to do it i believe i'm going to do it with um acrylic paint so once you've done that you're going to stay in front of it i have few things to do in my working area so i'm going to keep having a look and then having a look and then having a look and then having a look um you can't wait until it's really, really thick because in the process of applying, the ones that is in the container will even thicken up more and you may find yourself, you haven't finished applying it all and then it's already so thick to work. If you completely ignore it, you might come back to your epoxy and be a pure block of epoxy on your um, mixing bowl or mixing jar or mixing container or whatever it is that you use, okay? So that's why with so much love and so much patience, we are literally going to stay there. I'm going to try to, of course, film it for you and try to show you. And yes, it's going to take a while, but um, 
it's worthy. I remember when I was doing the um, hot chocolate max, and I was like, yeah, this is a Okay, so at this stage, as you have seen, I sanded it all and I have cleaned it with alcohol. I used one of these um, coffee filters and some 99% alcohol. I'm not going to touch it. Don't touch it. Don't be like, oh, is it smooth enough? You will have to clean it again. First of all, because I don't know if you can appreciate it on the video, but my hands are absolutely dusty from this. So it's clean. I'm gonna put it on one of my um, stand holders. I'm gonna start mixing the epoxy with the acrylic. And then I'm gonna come back to you. And I'm gonna show, I mean, I'm just gonna put the epoxy and bring it here and then show it to you. My kids are not around today. So I can actually be around the house with epoxies, absolutely. <music> So this is so far how is it look. I'm not really happy with this bit and I'm not really happy with this bit but because I'm gonna sand it a little bit later I'm gonna kind of smooth it up and I'm gonna do another coat and see if I can fix that. I'm really happy with these drippings. It looks really cute. I just touch it and mess it up but yeah so far so good with those except for those things but as I said once it's absolutely dry, we're gonna sand it, so it's gonna look better. Okay, uh, now we are doing this step again, as I said before, it's totally optional. I'm going to be using the final sand, the paste, and I'm going to be using the pads. As you can see, this is how I um, sell the packages. You can get both of them. You get the paste and then you get the prep and the made um, pads. I didn't use the prep. To be honest with you, if you watch a lot of American videos, they do use it. We have to think that here in the UK, it's not that easy to get this product. So I rather um, sand my tumblers with a sanding block or with a sanding machine and then just wash it rather than waste um, any of this product. I prefer to use it for this uh, process that I'm doing. Um, this is the package again, as I say, that I normally sell. Um, inside the package of the paste, uh, the pads, you have three of each. I could say if you treat it really nicely and you wash it immediately once you use it, uh, all the paste will be washed away and you can use that pad over and over again. It's not like a one-time um, use um, 
thing. So it just make you safe on that. So we're gonna get one of the uh, pads with us right now. And then there is the paste. Let's go and try it. Okay, so here is the tumbler. As you can see, it's all smooth. Um, I don't want to touch the top. The top, I did it because I didn't want um, the person to be able to like scratch the white and then stand it up. That's why I did this layer of epoxy. And then now uh, make sure everything is really uh, smooth and soft and everything. If you have any bumpings on the epoxy, I will suggest you to sand it a little bit before you do the final sanding. Otherwise, it will be more visible once you do the paste. So we're going to go through it. We're going to go inside there as best as we can. Um, without touching what it is our like 3D foam and I mean if it's a little bit shiny on the top um, it's absolutely fine with me you don't have to worry too much about it so as you can see I put some uh, paste on the uh, bottom of the tumbler I didn't make it wet but the pad was a little bit wet from the other um, tumbler that you can see on the back that is another video you will enjoy um, in another time and then you don't have to get really crazy um, you just have to like scrub it around nicely uh, firmly as I say you, you don't have to do it too much I saw some videos of some people they do it extremely crazy like they try to get to the bottom of the tumbler that's not the process uh, we are just uh, taking kind of a little bit of the last layer that we apply that's why you need to make sure the tumbler is absolutely done with all the epoxy um, coats that you need to use especially to protect that pictures and things like that and as you can see you just push yourself around um, the white as best as you can and you can't see nothing right now even if you make it wet you won't be able to see um, how made the process is you will have to actually wash it and dry it to see how it look I only did this process once and it was more than enough for me um, if you wanted to do it more times you can always as I say wash it rinse it make sure it's absolutely washed off and rinsed off properly and then you can just like dry it a little bit with like um, paper towel or the coffee filters or things like that and if you think some areas need some more um, just go over them again if you go slowly um, you can basically see really well where have you done it and where not so you shouldn't be needing um, leaving any spots that are not um, covered on epoxy but you never know so it's good to do that and here is the result it was still a little bit wet from the washing I absolutely love it the customer love it so much so thank you so much for passing by thank you so much for all of your new subscription and all of your orders um, don't forget to contact me on social media and I'll see you next week bye